Hello everyone, this is ASB Team Express. Today we're going to be learning how to make a registration form. This is lesson two of ten. This is part one. Now in part one we're going to be doing the design phase and we're going to be writing code in part two. Okay, so well let's get started. Let's open up a registration form. Let's go file, new project. Let's call it reg form. Click OK. Okay, from here we're going to learn how to use a couple of uh, tools in our toolbox. So we're going to be learning how the design phase on how to make a good looking uh, registration form. So first of all, we're going to need a couple of buttons. We're going to put a button here. We're going to put another button beside it. Now if you could see when, when aligning these buttons, it comes with a blue line that shows you the the straightness of uh, your buttons between each other. You can see here that two blue lines show that they're straight from up and down and on the side here it shows another two straight. So I'm gonna just there you go make them the same size. Button one we're gonna change the name to OK and button two we're gonna change the name to Cancel. Okay we're going to need to use a couple labels. Here it is, label. We're going to drag and drop here on the top. We're going to change the name appearance of the label to name. Let's put it full name. And let's put another one here. Let's put email. Okay. Let's put another one here. Uh, let's name it how'd you hear about us here about us put a question mark okay and we're gonna put another label right here in the bottom and we're gonna put it favorite sport I'm just gonna put the first letter capital I'm going to put a question mark on that as well because we're asking them a question. Okay. Let's make sure it's aligned properly with the others. Now we're going to put another one. And we're just going to know the gender of our customer. Gender. Okay. Next, to fill in the full name, we have to use a tool that's called text box. Uh, it's the most uh, reasonable one to use when someone's going to be writing in a string for their name. So we're going to drag and drop text box. Make sure it's straight here. I'm just going to put it right here. We're going to make the length a little longer. Okay, and we're going to use the same thing for uh, for the email. There could be a number of different of answers. Now here about us, we're going to limit the answers to uh, three. So what I'm going to want to use is a combo box. Okay, we're going to limit the answers for them and we're going to fill out the combo box by clicking right here. So we're going to click here and edit items. Okay, and let's put a couple things. Let's put television. You have to put a space between. You can see written on the top, enter the strings in collection, one per line. So television, let's put newspaper and let's put friends and click OK. Now they're in there, it's just not shown until we run the program. So we're going to leave that and we're going to put for favorite sport, we're going to use um, a list box. Okay? And we're also going to put uh, a certain amount for people to choose from. So we're just going to drop that down a little bit here. And we're also going to do the same way. We're going to click on the right here and we're going to edit items. And we're going to put a couple of sports. So let's just put soccer, let's put basketball. Okay, we can fix the size up. It's going to go right there. Now they can only choose one of the two. So for male and gender, because it's only a true or false answer, what we're going to do is we're going to use a button called uh, the radio button. So we go on the radio button right here. We're going to drag and drop a radio button. Okay, and we're going to straighten that right here in front of it. And we're going to add another one. Because you can either be a male or a female. You can't be both. So what we're going to do here is change the name of the radio button. Mail. 
and change the other radio button. female okay now we finished our design here the user will enter their full name their email how they heard about us on a combo box and uh, using a list box we wrote two favorite things that they could select from and either select male or female now when they press OK using the event where we're going to be writing code in the next uh, in part B of a registration form we're going to we're going to go inside the event and uh, write some code in here so I'm going to save our work. We're going to go back to Form One Design, and uh, I'm going to wait till see uh, next uh, lesson so we can write into the events. We're going to write into the cancel event as well as the OK event to give us a thank you pop up with all the information that we entered. Okay, thank you.